Hello and welcome to this Adobe InDesign tutorial where we will be creating a catalog using Data Merge. Our catalog will include images and other text such as captions. Here is a sample of the essence of the template where I have an image placeholder, the captions, and other styles, and then our pagination. So let's create a new document by going to File, New Document, using your design specs. And I have facing pages turned on. A parent is where we're going to place the pagination. And I'm just going to copy the styles from this other template I had used. And for the pagination, I've just inserted from type, insert special character, markers, current page number. And you're going to do the same with a right alignment on this page. Next, we're going to add a new parent, parent B. And this one will have one page and based on parent none. And this is where we're going to add our styled content, the images and text. So I'm going to copy some of this information and paste it into my new document in the B parent. And I'm going to draw an image placeholder. Change any of these to whatever sizes and styles you need. And I'm going to go ahead and erase these so you can see me add them. I'm going to add just a couple of these styles so you can see how I'm applying any character styles. So if we do change styling, it will dynamically change across all pages once we get the document merged. So from character styles, let's add a new style for the title. And that way, if we need to change styling, we can do that later. So I've got styling for the artist name and the location. Within pages, go ahead and apply parent B to the first page. And from this flyout in pages, we're going to uncheck allow document pages to shuffle. And now we need to open the data merge palette, going to window, utilities, data merge. And here I have a spreadsheet where I've entered all the information and I've given the columns a title header. I want you to take note of the image column. For image, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have at before image. And then here you can see the link path. So I have a forward slash links where I've created a links directory folder. So here's my new template that I'm making. Here's a links folder containing the images. So that path is going to be forward slash links forward slash and then your image name, the list of those. I've just entered three for this example. And when we save our spreadsheet, we want to make sure it's a CSV. So go to File, Export, CSV, and name that document here. And back in InDesign, go to your Data Merge Palette, and in the Flyout menu, select Data Source. I'm going to select my CSV document. The natural settings are fine. And this is where we're going to start placing these Data Merge tags into our document. So for instance, first name, space, last name, title, And I'm going to drag and drop the image placeholder or just select that frame and click on image. And in the flyout, go to content placement options. Here's where you can choose the image fit to that container. So for my case, I wanted to fit images proportionately into the frame. And mine were already centered, but you can click center and frame. At this point, you can go ahead and click the preview checkbox. I do want to know, I went ahead and had to remove the bio column because there were some quotation marks that were throwing off the data merge. So I had to resave that document. Quotes or any other characters that may cause an issue with the CSV. On the Adobe support page, it does confirm that issue. And there are a couple workarounds here, which may be creating a separate field for each line or paragraph content, or to create a unique symbol where you can find and replace it later in the document. So now if we turn on preview, you can see the content has been updated from our placeholders. So from the flyout, let's go ahead and create merge document. And I'm going to use all records. And it's created a new document for us in InDesign. So you may want to save this as your original template. 
Unfortunately, if you do update your spreadsheet, it doesn't update automatically. You will have to recreate and repopulate that data merge that we just did. So here's our new document. If we go to the first page, I'm going to turn on more of a preview. You can see all of our pages are here at the right. We're not getting our spreads right now. So I want you to go ahead and select all of your pages and either right click or on the fly out menu. We're going to apply a parent to all pages and we're going to go to the fly out again. And this time we're going to turn on allow document pages to shuffle. And we do want these to create spreads. So click no. And now if we go to our pages, you can see our pagination and other styled information. So for this demo, I only had three images. I hope this video helps you with your project. Thanks for watching and take care.